Hi Gemini, this is Wendy. Welcome to my channel, Wendy's Tarot. In this video, we're going to go ahead and ask the cards, what is your current love situation? What is your current love situation? Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to be looking at your energy first, and then I'm going to look at the energy of whoever it is that you are connecting to and dealing with in love. Okay, so let's get started. Just as a reminder, this is a general reading. It might not resonate with everyone, but if it does resonate with you, please give me a thumbs up to my video. I really appreciate that. And subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'd appreciate that too. All right, let's get started with your energy spirit. Show me the energy of Gemini, please, in regards to love. What is the current energy of Gemini in regards to love? Alright, Gemini, first card we have for you is Six of Pentacles in reverse. <clears throat> we have the King of Wands upright. We have the Two of Cups in reverse. And we have the Ten of Cups upright. So definitely Gemini with the Ten of Cups here, I do feel like you're looking for something um, that is long lasting, that is um, uh, long term, that is that is going to give you that happiness um, that's going to last, you know, that happily ever after. So you have really high hopes when it comes to love here. Now we do have the two of cups in reverse, so it does show that there is a relationship here that is not quite working out the way you had hoped it would. Um, there's distance between you and another person. Um, there, there might be a lack of res reciprocity. Uh, uh, that's a hard word to say. <laughs> um, yeah, there's a lack of equal exchange between you and another person. Somebody might not be reciprocating um, the same energy and time and love that you're giving to them um, back to you. Um, there's a lack of equality here, a lack of balance. <clears throat> and it's not conducive to this happily ever after that you that you're wishing for here. Um, someone is not really, you know, giving you the attention that you deserve or um, you know, someone's not really dedicating themselves to you or investing themselves um, into you or the relationship. We do have the King of Wands here. I feel like this is your energy. I feel like you're trying to um, make some sort of decision. You're you're being very analytical, I feel. You're being very careful. Um, you don't want to look like a fool. You don't want to be a fool. So I do feel like you're analyzing the situation carefully and you're trying to come up with the, pe the best approach um, to what you're going through. You're trying to think rationally um, instead of thinking too um, too emotionally. Um, you don't want to be impulsive or jump to conclusions or jump to um, assumptions. I feel I, I I get an energy of you trying to be patient here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and almost like you're trying to you're trying to still be hopeful while while at the same time, you know, being realistic about what is what is going on. You're trying to balance that, you know, energy of 
keeping keeping optimism keeping your um keeping the faith while also being um realistic Okay, let's look at the energy of your person now. Spirit, show me the energy of the person Gemini is dealing with in love, please. Thank you. It might be an earth, earth sign, Capricorn, Virgo, or Taurus. Uh, it might be a Virgo. Okay, first card we have here is the Seven of Cups upright. The Five of Pentacles in reverse. The Two of Wands upright. And the Nine of Cups upright. They too also have, um, you know, high hopes here or, or they have big wishes here with the Nine of Cups um, and you have the Ten of Cups. So both of you are aspiring to have um, well, you might not be aspiring to the same thing. You're both aspiring to have happiness here in love. But there is, I just feel a little bit different here. Because in this person, this person is alone in, in this card. And in the Ten of Cups, there's two people here. Two adults. So I feel like this person is more focused on self self-interest okay we do have the seven of cups which means that they have a lot of options in love and i do feel like they are exploring their options in love but at the same time we do have the five of pentacles in reverse so they are returning um they want to return back to someone um i'm guessing that person is you um, they're trying to make a decision here with the two of wands in regards to what direction to go in, to go in life. But they are thinking about themselves more than more than anybody else. OK. OK, let's go ahead and clarify these cards. I'm going to clarify um, your person's cards here, starting with the seven of cups. Spirit, tell me more about the seven of cups. Thank you. Yeah, your your goals are different here. I mean, at at first it would seem like they're the same. Um, I got that happened to me. Like I thought you two shared um, goals here, but they're actually very different. Like I said, you your goal is to have happiness here in love um, with someone else to and to have an equal, um, balanced, fifty fifty relationship here with someone. But this person is more, their their goal is to have happiness with themselves, um, not necessarily um, with someone else. Um, although they, they might want to be in a relationship, but they're more focused on the happiness uh, that they have on their own more than the happiness of the relationship. So it's more selfish, okay?
Okay, clarify Seven of Cups spirit. Thank you. And we have the King of Pentacles. And the Two of Wands. Okay. Let me get one more card here, please. One more card. Two of Swords. One more card. Yeah, Nine of Cups. Yeah. There's the, there's that Nine of Cups card again. Um, they're looking for something stable, something committed. But again, with the Nine of Cups, I don't... I feel like they're looking more for what what suits them the best in terms of their goals. Um, again, I get this energy of them not really considering... Um, you know, the relationship as a whole. Um, and I get this energy of someone just kind of focused on themselves. And I feel they might be looking for a wife or a husband, someone to settle down with, um, because that's, that's what's ex expected of them, you know. You know, it's almost like they're trying to fit the um, societal expectations, you know. Clarify five of pentacles, please, in reverse. We have strength in reverse. And the devil in reverse. Yeah, I do feel like there's an ex-partner here that they're trying to release themselves from. Mm. Yeah, they're trying to, they're trying to detach themselves from a toxic X relationship here okay clarify two of wands we have the queen of swords and the knight of wands in reverse cold very cold energy coming from this person kind of blunts also very blunts um, not a lot of emotion coming from this person here um, they're being very methodical, very um, strategic. Again, it's almost like you. You also are being kind of strategic here, but it's it's a weird thing because it's almost like you two share the same the the same energy, but it's not quite the same, you know, because you're. You're also being, you know, very methodical and strategic, but it's not in a way where you're looking to you're looking to be better than someone else, or you're looking to 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 gain personally, you know, to protect your own self interests. I feel like you're you're not just only considering yourself. I feel like you're considering um, everyone, you know. You know, it's not like you're trying to uh, be sneaky, okay. This person is also, is more like trying to be sneaky, okay. Trying to get away with something. All right, clarify the Nine of Cups, please. We have Ace of Pentacles in reverse and the Six of Wands in reverse. So this is definitely someone who wants to be chased. That's the that's their energy here with the Nine of Cups. This is someone who doesn't really take action, who's not planning on taking action. They just they kind of feel like things should come to them. So in regards to love, um they're waiting for um it's like they don't want to put in the work, you know. They're just going to sit here and wait for for someone to offer to offer them a commitment here with the Ace of Pentacles. You might be dealing with a businessman or a businesswoman. I feel like this person thinks of love as a business for some reason. They're very business oriented, very business um, minded, even even in love. Okay, 
that's very specific, so that's not going to be for everyone. But um, if that resonated with you, please give me a thumbs up. And thank you so much for watching, Gemini. I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Take care.